Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up everybody, the Nintendo Beast here. Today I've got a very, very short video for you, a real quick video. It's a bit of a tutorial uh, for anybody who, like me, doesn't know how to do this. And uh, it's not like it's like a secret feature. It's definitely something that's very easily accessible on the Switch. Um, but if you're like me, you didn't know this feature existed, it's kind of hidden to some extent, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Today, I'm going to show you how to create folders or groups uh, of games here on the Nintendo Switch. Now, in order to do this, you have to scroll all the way to your side here. I believe it was like software update 14.0.0 or something along those lines. So you, you want to make sure you're using up-to-date firmware here on the Nintendo Switch. I think it was a while back that they added this feature, so it's probably already installed on your Switch. But just double check if you have to go to sy uh, system settings or just, you know, make sure that you're up to date. So anyway, you come all over here to all software. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen, there is a tab for groups. So you want to hit the left bumper button uh, and that'll pull this up. And as you can see, I do not currently have any groups on my Switch. It says you can sort your favorite software titles however you want. Using themed groups can help make titles easier to find too. Obviously, that's kind of the whole point here. So we're going to hit create new group. And then it pulls up this uh, this software this software selection screen. Uh, so for this group, I am just gonna do all of the indie titles that I just downloaded. So we got Rootin', uh, we got That's a Cow, we got Run Sausage Run, Sausage Wars, uh, Untitled Goose Game, and A Short Hike. I believe that's all of the uh, the indie games that I have. I have this one as well, but it's not installed. Uh, anyway, it's not super important. So there are my games, and then uh, you could just hit the next button or the plus button on your controller, and there it is. Arrange the software titles in the order you want them displayed, so you could actually arrange them as well. Uh, all you have to do is hit the A button over one, and you can scroll that around, position that however you want. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward stuff here. So then again, you can scroll over to the next button, or you can just press plus. And then you get to enter a group name. Uh, I'm just going to put in Indie Games. Accept that. And there we go. We have a group for Indie Games. Just a couple of additional notes here about groups on the Nintendo Switch. First of all, uh, it's important to note that you might not be seeing the Groups tab. It only becomes available once you have 12 games or 12 pieces of software either installed uh, or archived on your console. As you can see, I'm way above 12. Not all of these are installed on my console, uh, but they're all either installed or archived. And I think that's all you need. You need 12 pieces of software in total, uh, I, I believe before you even see the all software uh, button here. So if you see the all software button here, I believe you are good to go to create groups. So in theory, you can have up to 100 groups uh, here on your Nintendo Switch, and each of those 100 groups can technically have up to 200 games in them, I believe. Um, I don't know if anybody will be hitting those caps, maybe that's why they're so ridiculously large, because there's really no reason to hit them. Um, but, you know, you do you. Lastly, I want to note that the same game can be added to multiple groups. So, for example, if I wanted to put all of my indie games in a single folder, I can absolutely do that. And then if I wanted to create a secondary folder for just party games, for example, and I want to put something like Run Sausage Run uh, or Sausage Wars into that other group as well, you can absolutely do that. The only downside to groups, to my knowledge, is that you can't actually add groups to the home page here. There's no way to do this at this point, and uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a feature that they add. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll do it down the road. Uh, so as of right now, you do still have to go all the way over to all software, hit that L button, and, uh, and find your groups that way. 
But with that said, I hope this tutorial gave you some good insight, gave you some good information about groups here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every Saturday beginning at roughly 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and when I upload new video content such as this every weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.